sure. I mean, the nurses are doing their jobs. They're working hard to take excellent patient care and do a great job with our patients. Um, you know, time's challenging. It's challenging uh, on our units where we have the, the patients who are the most ill. Um, the use of personal protective equipment is hard. Um, it's something that we're all trained for, but it's difficult to don and off, so it's hard to put on and off. Um, but they're, they're doing a great job. They're taking good care of each other and watching each other put the equipment on, take it off to be sure they don't contaminate themselves or some other uh, piece of equipment. Um, but generally, they're doing a great job. Sure, I think um, as we've moved throughout the building um, over the past several weeks, I mean, we've seen um, teamwork, we've seen people looking out after each other, we've seen a lot of people, um, social distancing is important, so uh, you see them trying to provide great care while staying within you know, six feet of each other, so um, handoffs are interesting. Um, we see per people getting really creative on uh, great care, so um, good examples have come to us like um, ways that we can keep um, IV equipment or IV pumps outside the patient's room so they still get the uh, regimen that they need, the dose that they need, but the, we're able to maintain the IV pump outside the room. So that's been great because it reduces the use of PPE, but it also allows us to take good care of the people. Right, oh, characteristics of a team. I think just supporting each other is important. Um, we tried to add staff to the units where um, they're taking this great care of, of people because it does take longer to get ready to go in the room, so we try to put more staff. We also try to give them a break, so we're seeing um, people roll in and take kind of kind of tag without touching each other, the, the care aspect of what they're doing and go in the patient room. Um, so I think encouragement, you know, and interprofessional work. So um, I manage a lot of nurses and patient care technicians and the unit secretarial uh, feature of, of our uh, enterprise, but, um, you know, our physicians and respiratory therapists and physical therapists and just that part of the team is so important that we continue to communicate. And our clinics have done a great job, our emergency department kind of keeping people home that need to stay home. So um, we've been very creative and communication is probably a uh, number one attribute to that. What would you like the community to do? You know, a lot of them are staying home just watching the news. If you could speak to the community, yes. what would you want them to do about this? Yeah, uh, I think if I could say one message to everybody at home, it is we're working really hard for you. Um, not only you, us at UAB, but healthcare professionals across the community are working really hard for you. Um, please don't get out of your house. If you need us for true emergent care, we're here for you, but take another means. I mean, uh, e-medicine is awesome. I know a lot of our clinics are answering the phones uh, longer hours than ever. Please take advantage of that opportunity. Uh, stay home, social distance. If you have to go to the grocery store, uh, pay attention to the uh, shopping cart and wipe that down before you touch it. And um, don't take anything home to your family and friends. Now, I've been in the business a long time, so I've been a nurse for well over 30 years, and um, emergency department work is all that I ever knew. Um, until the, to this role five years ago, I had the opportunity, uh, honor, honestly, to uh, provide support for, for all nurses here at UAB. Um, I think the difference in this situation is in most disasters, you can see the endpoint. Um, something comes through and does a lot of disruption, but you can see the point of it getting better. And so I think fear of the unknown for us makes us not feel like we're doing as well as we have in the past. So, um, you know, we're doing the best we can every single day and managing the disaster of the moment and uh, trying to prevent spread. So that's huge. It really speaks to, you know, everybody being mindful of what's going on in the community and 
Um, we're, we're really doing a great job inside and, and hope that we can continue to prevent any further spread. Well, I completely believe that health care is a calling. It doesn't necessarily have to be a religious calling. It can be you know, any kind of calling that people believe in. But it's hard work, uh, and it's time like this when we know that it's, it's hard work. So I think people um, probably all had something happened in their past that led them down this path. I mean, either a sick family member or maybe a family member that was a health care professional. And, you know, it's, it's wrong to think that all people are called into a clinical role. I mean, we have quite a few people that never touch the bedside but are so important to the work that we do. And, you know, we really have to take this time, too, to not only a shout out to the people that are in the facility, but we have a lot of people working from home that are still providing support for us and, and doing what they do every day. So a huge team effort, and we'll accomplish this. We'll pull this off, and um, it'll be a, a group multi-thousand people effort to get it done. Uh, let me ask you as well, uh, are you feeling um, good community support? Yes. Yes, every day uh, we feel support. Uh, just um, today, I mean, from inside, we've had you know, nurses who are not at the bedside but doing great jobs like utilization review, that are nurses that are reviewing charts. That's what we want them to do. They want to do something for the bedside. Our schools, I mean, our nursing schools have done um, amazing work and contributed not only thoughts and prayers and ideas and emails, but also food, supplies, all kind of things that they, I mean, I think everybody just wants to do what they can do, what's in their bandwidth to do. But yes, we feel very supported. And, um, you know, we just look forward to being able to say that it was a great community-wide accomplishment. Um, did you have a chance to see the chalk on the sidewalk? Did you take that home? Did you happen to see that? No. Okay. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a... Uh, Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so someone wrote a message to us on the chalk. Yes, we saw, saw the message. And um, I know other places are doing that in the community, too, while the provider or the public just wants to say something and uh, messaging on the on the sidewalk is, is was a great idea a very creative idea and I, I don't i don't know what the message said yeah, huh. yeah. i do I, no i think and i think there's a lot you know um in the in the public right now and on the media you hear a lot of healthcare heroes and you know the majority of people that come here to work do what we do this is what they do and nobody considers himself heroic it's just you know they're a little different conditions than usual but um, we don't have people that are not wanting to come to work and we have them coming and just digging in and knowing it's a new norm for a while so uh, they'll keep doing what they do but we do appreciate it. it certainly helps to see messages on the sidewalk or things in the media or signs or I know a lot of the hero signs are kind of posted across the, the community. Um, and I'll also have to say um, we also are seeing rewards from within. Um, one great story happened last week where um, the unit that's taking care of the intensive care patients here that are COVID-19 patients, um, very stressful for them, a lot, of, a lot of patients in that unit. But one of their sister units, another intensive care area, sent insomnia cookies um, to the unit. I mean, such a message just to say, you know, we're only a, 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 a street over in a different building, but we're really thinking of you. And um, I think another story out of the, uh, one of the emergency departments is uh, because of our visitors, and we've social distancing with visitors, we've not allowed visitors to come in under most circumstances. And uh, they took care of an elderly patient who, they found out it was his birthday and they had had his wife wait outside uh, to keep her distance from him while in the emergency department. And they decided that he needed to be admitted and on his way to the ambulance to, for transport down here, um, they had a little birthday song and lined the, the exterior perimeter of the ambulance bay and allowed her to participate. And, you know, it's stuff like that that just, you know, make, make you reach deep and know why you do what you do. And, come to work to do it every day. So again, we just 
we just know that as we get through this, that there'll be lots of celebrations and the community will come out and support us still. And uh, we just look forward to that day. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you can think of? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I mean, I think it, it is. It's stressful work anyway. I mean, health care is a hard job. Um, it kind of goes back to the people are called to do it. Um, it's hard, and, and this is um, a little more challenging because you have to a lot of the things that you used to do as reflex, you have to stop and think through. Um, the use of personal protective equipment, I can't stress enough how hard that is. Um, the masking, I mean, it's hot, so so we are trying to give breaks more frequently, and we even have a group, a group meeting this morning to try and decide if we should be thinking more of shorter shifts and or, or longer breaks for our staff. Um, I heard somebody this morning in the intensive care area say, I've never appreciated the operating room staff as much as I do right now because they stay in that garb all the time. Um, but, but it's hard. You have to, have to relearn to do things in, in all that equipment. Uh, very important not to touch your face, and that's something you have to be mindful of all the time. So um, I think, though, still encouragement and support for each other has been um, the way. I mean, uh, n nurses... Um, kind of high five anyway, and our physician team here is very strong. I mean, our our operations center is of many people, but um, the operations chief, or I share the role with the physician, so it's great to have a counterpart and see nursing, nurses and physicians working with all of our you know, supply chain, security, all the people, information systems across the across the spectrum. Uh, great, great team support, collaborative effort. Okay, thank y'all so much.